Welcome to Fed Achando Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you are watching for the first time. If you check Twitter, Brookside is actually trending among top three. And this is because the government of the day, in Sirikali Hasla, have agreed with Uganda and Uganda will start exporting their milk into our country. And uh, Lodama Lekina looked at what is happening with the country and this is what the reaction of uh, Lodama Lekina. Lodama is saying this, that by flooding the market with cheap milk from Uganda at William Butcher and Ugedi Geshagwa, you think the action punishes the Uhuru family. Little do they know that Brookside is owned by a French company called Dinoni. You are punishing small farmers from Mount Kenya who will soon sell milk at 20 ball. It is the last part of Ledama Lekina's statement that touched my heart. I always want to invite you so that we, we, we talk about things that matter in this channel. You know, Martin Luther King once said that our lives will end the very day we will stop talking about matters, uh, about things that matter to our lives. Isirikali, wakati ilikuwa inatafuta kura, ilisema itachunga maslahi ya wanaichi wakawaida. And I think that was at the, the heart of the campaigns, and that is the reason why uh, most of the hustlers voted for William Samoy Ruto. But the revelations that are coming that they have given the green light for milk to be imported into the country to me is wrong. Because when we have milk coming from Uganda, they will sell it at a cheaper price. Then it will force our local manufacturers to even lower theirs further so that we can buy from them. You know, there was a time when Moses Kuria said that he wants the local manufacturers to thrive. He was talking about the Mituba business and he said that he would not kill the Mituba business but he will make it more expensive so that when you have our locally manufactured textile compared to the ones that have been imported, you will find that ours are a bit cheaper compared to the one that has been imported and so you will be pro uh, prompted by the law of demand to buy ours. Now, I don't understand this very unique U-turn where they now want to allow milk importation. And Ledama is very right because Ledama is saying that if you thought in your wildest dreams that by importing milk you will be punishing the Uhuru family, you are wrong guys, you will be punishing our local manufacturers. You see, we have manufacturers in central province who engage in milk production, milk processing, and it is their major form of livelihood. This is how they put food on the table. And when we go ahead to give them a competitor, I can assure you that Kenyans will start buying the Ugandan milk. I have heard these rumors, I can't prove that the lacto milk uh, comes from Uganda. I can't prove this. You see, we should live, live up to our promise to protect the local businessmen. This is not the first time this is happening. Because there was a time when William Ruto had indicated that they wanted to import the GMO uh, products. But the local, the, the, the local maize farmers came out and cried for them. They said that they've got enough in their stores and they don't even have the market for it. But then the government wanted to come and import even some more when the ones that on, on our stores have not been exhausted. I think we should have a policy that guides us that before we import because i understand that importation of a product is not bad but we must do due diligence and, and, and realize that this is the amount that we have in the store our 
Kenyan market, or the, the, the local Kenyan citizens can consume this much. So that if we have a deficit that our local manufacturers cannot produce, then we cover up that one by importing. But we cannot just come up and start importing our local uh, 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 our products that we also locally manufacture because it is going to be very injurious to our farmers. I'm thinking that maybe this is an, a collaboration between our some of our politicians and those who are in Uganda to do business. And then this business can be done in two ways. One, you could find that uh, there is a uh, some big government official, influential government official from Uganda, who majors in milk production, and so they want to to import, you know, export milk to Kenya, so that another politician who engages in another business will be exporting his products to Uganda. For example, let's say just a, an example. You might find that William Ruto wants to export eggs in Uganda, and so they swap so that he is uh, given a large market in Uganda for his eggs and then Museveni for example will be exporting milk in, 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 in Kenya so that it is a win-win situation but by doing this it is the local manufacturer who feels the heat number two you might find out that uh, because this happens in Africa that uh, our local politicians might major, uh, major with someone in Uganda so that they, they can start milk production in Uganda. Then they export it to Kenya with a brand that looks like it is a, a, a Ugandan uh, you know, product, yet the directors are Kenyans. So these things happen. But mimi na murumia ule 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 mkulima wetu wa Kenya because waliambiwa they will be protected. It, the, the, the bottom up economy, we are going to look at the interest of the local manufacturer, local businessman. Like my friend sometimes says that the interest of the hustler ended the day they were given the hustler's fund. The government no longer talks about the, 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 the hustler, uh, hustlers because they have been given the hustler fund, they have taken 500, 600, 2000, and they are told we share, and no one is talking about it. It is coming at a time when Azimio has heightened their political temperatures, they want to go, in fact, tomorrow they will be in Jakaranda after a very uh, successful rally in Kamkunji. And maybe this is meant to intimidate Uhuru Kenyatta. Because Jeremiah Kuni came and said that Uhuru was consulted before these mandamanos, not the mandamanos, I think I'm getting it wrong. Before these consultative meetings were, were began, Uhuru gave a nod. That is what Jeremiah Kuni, who is the Secretary General of the Jubilee, said. So it, it means that Uhuru has, uh, the, the Azimio rallies have got the approval of the former president. The political enmity between the, 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 the former president and William Ruto is, 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 is in the open. It's not good for us. So they're doing this maybe so that Uhuru can come down and stop supporting Azimio because you've seen the concerted efforts. Just the other day, you saw a meeting between William Ruto and Shagwa and the Jubilee elected leaders. And in fact, uh, it, it really grabbed line, uh, the headlines when Sabina Chege had a photo there with between Uhuru Kenyatta and Gedi Shaba. So they could be intimidating him. It could also be true that they are trying to finish uh, the Kenyatta family. They want to reach him below the belt to prove to them that he is now the president. You see, when they, in the second term of Uhuru and William Ruto, they were not reading from the same page. And this has, has escalated to this. The, the, some of the Ruto allies who are doing business suffered because some of their businesses were closed uh, ostensibly because they were not paying taxes, they were evading taxes. So there could be a revenge mission uh, from William Ruto's side to punish the Kenyatta family. So on this I want to concur with Ledama Lekina because when they are trying to punish the Kenyatta family for whatever reasons, for revenge or whatever, it is the local manufacturer who gets the heat. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think the government must stop this. They should reconsider this if we have to protect our local manufacturers and they have to live up to their promise to protect the hustler nation as they had told us when they were campaigning. I don't know what you think, ladies and gentlemen, but that is my take.